Hey folks, it's Tom, your frugal prepper. I am just relaxing at the end of a long, hard week at work. Um, we've got crazy projects going on at work. We've built a new wing or a professional office building for doctor's offices. It's going to be opening soon, and we got a new phone system going in, and we're trying to get all the network and stuff done. It's it's just it's been a real team effort from the whole IT department, but there's just a lot on my plate right now. So I'm tired. I mean, I'm just generally tired. <laughs> I was so happy. I, I normally am one of those people that love my job, and I'm kind of sitting at my desk. And I'm like, oh, man, i got to go home. I just want to fix this one more thing. But today, about a half hour before it was time to go, I was like, I just want to go. <laughs> um, but anyway, this week, um, I was able to successfully pass my CCNA. Uh, test my second one, my ICND two on uh, Tuesday. Um, I had done a video, but I think I talked a little bit too much about what might have been on the test or not. Um, I guess um, somebody kind of keyed me in that Cisco is real funny about that now because uh, people like will um, get copies of the questions or whatever and then. They, I guess they, they give them out to other people to memorize. Um, of course, you know, it's cheating yourself, too. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think practice questions and stuff are really a great idea, um, but only if you've done all the work to learn and you just want to make sure you have the concept of how they're going to ask questions, maybe. But, um, I mean, I think you can, can you cheat using the, uh, uh, some of those probably, but can you use some of those on not cheat? Absolutely, um, you know. But anyway, um, so when I uh, failed the first test, I kind of came out to my car right afterwards, and I really wrote down everything I could remember. Like you know, I know there was questions about this, and I know there was something about this, and something about that that I didn't know. And then as I was studying, I really made sure. So like spanning tree was my big thing that I was having a hard time with. Um, I really, you know, it's weird because I've used spanning tree a lot. and, and um, But it's been a while. I mean, spanning tree is like so 90s. I mean, <laughs> everybody today uses port channel or running a Nexus core, you know, which is port channel into redundant cores. Um, spanning tree is not really, a, it's not as commonplace as it used to be and I don't really know the rapid spanning tree and so there's some changes there and I just had to know it better and I just made sure I knew it forwards, backwards, sideways, inside out, upside down. Practice, practice, practice. I drew out my own little networks and then decided which one was going to be the root bridge. I, um, you know, um, but yeah, so um, there was some other stuff with port security, things like that, that I had to make sure I had memorized and had it down. And um, I really flew through the test this time. Um, so last time I ran out of time and I had a bunch of questions left and I just had to click through them, randomly answer them, hope for the best, and I failed. Um, I got a, I don't even remember, it was 600 and something, 647, and you have to get 825 to pass. Um, this time I got a 973, which is out of 1,000, so that's like a 97%. And I think I had that test done in 25 minutes. I mean, le less than a half hour. I mean, I just I flew through it. Um, and what I did this time is I didn't overthink things. Um, I have a real bad time. I look at a test, and I'm like, oh, that's the right answer. And I'm like, well, is it? I guess it could be this. I wonder, what, I wonder if they're trying to trick me. And so this time, I just went with my instincts. I'm like, yeah, that's the right answer. And then I click next, <laughs> you know. And you can't go back and change it once you click next on this test. So um, and it just came out perfect. Um, I couldn't be happier. So I think I was just, I was unsure of myself on some things, which was making me unconfident and making me take really long time and second guess myself on everything. And it just went bad last time. As many tests as I've taken and only failed, that was the second one. I can't beat myself up too much about it. Um, so next I'm on to Network Plus. I'm just going to knock that out real quick next Tuesday. Um, I'm not even going to study for it. I'm just going to go take it and pass it. Um, I've been a network engineer for 25 years. I think I can do a basic network test. 
um, then I'm going to uh, do my Linux Plus and that one I'm going to read the book really carefully and study for that I mean I use Linux a lot and I feel I know it pretty well but if any of you know Linux at all you know that there's a whole bunch of Linux that you probably don't know because you learn to how to do exactly what you need to do and Google what you need to know and learn it and then you know you don't have to do it maybe for a long long time and, and there, you know Linux is massive in what it can actually do so I know I need to go through that really well and that's two tests but that also gets you your Novell SUSE Linux uh, certified administrator certification and your Linux Professionals Institute certification if you pass those two tests and then it'll be on to CCMP, um, which will be a routing, switching, and troubleshooting tests that are pretty hard. That's going to take some work, but I really want to do it this time and get my CCMP, and then I'll evaluate where I'm at at that point and what I want my next move to be, um, whether that's going ahead and trying for the IE or maybe moving towards a uh, RHCE, which is a Red Hat Certified Engineer. So we'll see. Um, I haven't done that whole certification game in a while but um, while my company is willing to pay for them um, you know um, I think they're trying to like they'll give people classes um, but they're trying to limit them you know it's like maybe one a year or something at least that's what one of my coworkers said my boss told him so um, there's a class that Cisco has out on the ASA firewall there's no certification that comes with it but it's a really good class on how to administer the ASA and that's the one I would like to take I would like to just study from my certs on my own with my own books in my own way in my own time I have a way that I do these things so I'm gonna do that um, that's where I'm at um, just an update as to what's going on on a Friday hopefully I'll be back doing some canning videos here soon as soon as things slow down at work and I'm not cramming for tests constantly um, I wanna finish that canning series so just kind of an update. Probably gonna put a video out uh, shortly as to why I use a Mac. A lot of people were like, "You use a Mac? You use a Mac? <laughs> you aren't you like a network engineer? You know all about computers. Why do you use the dumb people's computer?" And I'll I'll tell you why in that video. Anyway, that's all I got. This is Tom and Free Will Prepper.